I was having my coffee at Rossi's Diner the other day and thinking about how we are clicking over another year in the life of the USA. I am thrilled to be an American Christian man with the freedom to stand with my brothers and sisters, to speak and worship freely, and I'm also proud to fight for faith and freedom. I see great things for us in the new year. God gave us a warrior spirit for a reason, to do battle against the forces of evil. And there's nothing that fires the heart of a warrior like carrying the banner of God and country right into enemy territory. John Boehner and Barack Obama are still wrecking the USA, and it's clear that only we the people, the sons and daughters of liberty, have the will and the heart to uphold and defend the constitution of this great nation against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Now, some of you are discouraged. You feel like you are throwing jello at bulldozers. Well, take heart, my friends. If it was easy, it wouldn't be called a battle, now would it? And do you really expect a battle for the heart and soul of America to be easy? With the stakes that high, are you really surprised to find yourselves facing the meanest, nastiest, and most vile army of all? Are you shocked that they don't fight fair, that they lie and manipulate, steal, kill, and destroy? Trust me, their fate is sealed, and God did not give us the warrior spirit to see us lose the war. We are not throwing jello at bulldozers. Every time we speak truth against the lies, we are firing an armor-piercing bullet that weakens the enemy. Americans are rallying to fight for faith and freedom now more than at any other time in my life. T-Teams USA is going strong and picking up steam. Our friends, Special Operations Speaks, are with us, and you know that those military professionals will never surrender. God and country is our battle cry, one nation under God. Oh yeah, it's going to be a good year. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.